another video just popped up in my inbox. This is one from LA. Uh, looks like Hollywood because I can see the street signs on here. And it's another transphobic video. I first seen a different video from Jason Lee of Hollywood Unlocked. But this one, listen, listen, listen to what's going on. Listen to the people. Okay. So you hear the people kind of heckling them. Obviously that guy is approaching that girl. She's obviously a trans girl, I guess. And he's approaching her for whatever reason. I don't know. I don't know if they know each other, what's going on. But obviously the people on the streets, they sound black to me, American. And they sound like they're heckling them. So at some point this girl ends up beating up on the ground. Like the video goes on, there's some other girls trying to help her. But the crowd continues kind of like to attack her, verbally abuse, attack her, assault her. And just listen in. You can hear it for yourself. Hold her hand. That's it for holding. Got another one. That's another man. Whoop cut, bitch ass too. You see, this is very. Um, toxic masculinity, like these black guys that are very um, transphobic. I see the girl, she's laying on the ground. Hold on. What do you want us to do? So the girl's laying on the ground, nobody's doing anything but videotaping and they're just harassing them. And nobody's trying to help her. She's laying on the ground crying because I guess the guy hit her and knocked her down on the ground or took her money. Or uh, One video shows her being robbed. He snatched, hits her and takes her purse. Another video shows her getting, giving him $80 to get her phone back. Like, this is just trash. Like, I mean, I'm sorry, but here we are in 2020 for George Floyd saying the Black Lives Matter and all of this stuff, and then you have black people out here on the streets doing this kind of trash. And for what? Mind your own business. I almost said the F word, but you know what I mean. Like, mind your own business. What, what does that have to do with you? If you're not going to intervene and stop the guy from beating her up, and just because of her anatomy, so that makes it okay for you to beat someone up like where's your humanity at like this is what we call humanity lost where people don't care enough about another human being that they will stand and videotape and heckle and get some sort of like thrill out of it and i think to me just to be honest with you all of the jenny jones the jerry springer and mari povich and all those kind of people brought on all that toxic behavior and amped it up in the United States and a, probably a part around the world. I don't know. I haven't been everywhere. But for this to be in California, and that's the <laughs> gayest place you can ever be, is in North Hollywood. Child, please. <laughs> Listen to him. Like, this is trash. Wow. So... I just wanted to share this video and uh, just kind of like have a quick discussion with my followers about how, you know, things are happening. Like if this is fell in my inbox, I don't like really want to see it. It makes me very upset to the point of tears because I, I just realized, like, hey, we're human beings at the end of the day. Nobody deserves to be heckled. I actually know what it's like to be verbally abused growing up as a teen and into my young adulthood and not by just a handful. like. Uh, a lot of lot of black guys so you know not to say that they can't learn you have young black people out here who can educate themselves to have self-respect love yourself enough to mind your own business you don't have to be out here in these streets videotaping what people are doing it has nothing to do with you so why do you care you're with your girlfriend and you're sitting there letting your girlfriend harass another girl because she's offended in some kind of way like I just don't get it but yet you're not doing anything to intervene to stop this guy from beating up this other girl here it's just because you know she wasn't born female or whatever then that gives him the right to just beat her up anyway like it, the, none of it makes any sense and at the end of the day what's the point of the video like I don't get what's the point unless you're just trying to get insta clicks insta likes or whatever like what's the point of this 
because it's sad. Like it is the worst, saddest thing I've ever seen in my life. And I just got through watching Shea Diamonds uh, attending her online session on this very subject of transphobia and toxic uh, transphobia and voting. So if you guys get a chance, go over to, to Ravenova underscore. She does a discussion on this. Go over to Shea Diamond. She did a, a, a trans and politics seminar, which talks about all this stuff, and try to um, you know get a better understanding of what's going on in Los Angeles. And this is in the heart of Hollywood. Like there's so many gay people over there, child, please. I'm shocked that any of them even would open their mouth up and say anything about anybody gay because they're surrounded by gays. Like that is a gay mecca over there. So anyway, I'm out. This is Princess Ariel. I hate showing this kind of stuff, but it disturbed me to the point where I was like, you know what, I want to talk about this. So let me edit and upload. Bye.